Dear colleagues, welcome to this um, Olympus Mini Device Symposium, now focusing on tracheal bronchial stent placement. My name is Kai Darvish, and I'm located in the Roland Clinic, the tertiary respiratory care clinic in Essen, Germany, uh, and working as a head of um, interventional pneumology department. Airway stenting is indicated in patients with clinical relevant central malignant airway stenosis, benign stenosis, fistulas, and sometimes in tracheobronchial malacia. So what is a clinical relevant stenosis? Um, it is clinical relevant if the stenosis is related to dyspnea, uh, post-obstructive pneumonia, um, retention of secretion, um, or if the stenotic airways is, um, the diameter is reduced to 50%. In case of malignant central airway stenosis, which is the most frequent indication for airway stenting, uh, self-metallic, self-expanding metallic stents are usually preferred. They are easy to place, have a thinner wall and therefore better internal to external diameter ratio, resulting in a larger airway lumen. Um, they are easy to place and um, usually they are placed via rigid bronchoscopy, although they can be placed uh, using flexible bronchoscopy. Usually the stand applicator is advanced uh, over guide wire till it's located in the middle of the stenosis. Self-expanding metallic stands um, apply pressure to the error wall and therefore impairing microcirculation. And, and on the long term, complications are seen very frequently. Uh, Pressure-related complications are granulation, tissue formation at the stand edges, as seen here on the left images and in the middle. Um, and if the stent is not fully covered at the uncovered, uh, uncovered parts of the, of the stent. In case of fistulas, perforation and enlargement of the fistula uh, can, can happen. Um, and therefore we have to ask ourselves when we uh, place a stand, how much force is uh, required, uh, especially in such uh, condition, conditions. And we should choose the most appropriate stand for the situation. And the Hanaro stands from Olympus, they are, have a low radial, radial expansion force and low edges and are beneficial in some conditions. And I will present now cases um, as example of such conditions. The first case is an 82 year old female patient um, suffering of uh, small cell lung cancer and it was been, has been diagnosed in 2016 as stage 3A uh, in the right upper lobe and was treated with chemo radiat uh, radiotherapy. Um, the tumor relapsed two years later uh, locally and with distant metastasis. It was causing an external compression of the right main stem bronchus. And the um, patient was suffering from severe dyspnea. And here are the images, as you can see, um, on the left image, the left main stem bronchus is wide open, whereas the right um, main bronchus is almost closed. And you see on the middle image that it's an external compression uh, by the tumor. And on the right image, the stand, uh, the Hanara stand, which has been placed in the right main stem bronchus. And you see in the, uh, on the stand side, this blue thread, which uh, um, can be grasped by our forceps and therefore the stand can easily be re repositioned in case of uh, dislocation, for example. 
Since then, more chemo and immunotherapy lines have been given to the patient. So it's a, quite an uncommon biology, biology for small cell lung cancer. Uh, the patient is still almost symptom-free, ECOG-1, despite, despite mild, mild tumor progression. And these are the images, the recent images after two and a half years. Uh, and you see on the left image, the um, radiograph showing the right upper and middle lobe still ventilated, the stent is in place. And on the endoscopic image, you see the stent yeah, still in place and only mild uh, granulation tissue. So a very good a case in an unusual biology of a small cell lung cancer. And I want to refer to the um, publication of Momon Vahidi showing that there's a significant um, improvement in lung function, dyspnea, and quality of life if we treat central airway obstruction um, with desobliteration and uh, placing stands. And um, plus 400 mils FEV1 is really uh, a lot. We can usually not achieve with, with our meats, means in different or other conditions. And they can, we're able to show even that uh, in case of successful intervention of malignant stenosis, there can be an impact, positive impact uh, on survival. So the second case is another really interesting case. So um, this middle-aged male patient underwent CABG operation um, because of coronary heart disease and myocardial infarction in 2015. And during the operation, two epicardial pacemaker wires have been placed and they have been left in the mediastinum after the procedure. Something with, which I've been told is not very uncommon that these wires are left in the mediastinum after the procedure. Um, however, um, they force some complication. So in 2016, one year later, an aortic stent graft has been placed. And last year, the patient has um, was suffering of significant dyspnea and was referred to us with a tumor in the left main stem bronchus. And it has been a polypoid tumor and we suspected uh, lung cancer. Uh, the tumor has been mechanically removed using rigid bronchoscopy um, and histology surprisingly revealed granulation tissue and no signs of malignancy. So on the image, you can see on the left side, the granulation tissue completely obstructing the left main stem bronchus and below on the MBI technology. On the right side, there are the CT scans and you can see uh, this is after the procedure, the wires, they are crossing the mediastinum um, in some distance to the left um, main stem bronchus. In the follow-up, the patient um, comes again to the clinic two, two weeks later uh, after removal of this um, granulation tissue and the polyp was uh, relapsed. So we removed this granulation polyp with laser resection and then with cryoablation two weeks later and then again two weeks later with mitomycin application. And then two weeks later, we applied everything together in one procedure. Anyhow, any procedure we do, two weeks later, these polyp relapsed. So that was the question, how can we treat these uh, granulation tissue? And um, the, the polyp, the granulation tissue clearly grows from the anterior wall. So it was not related to the aortic stand, but to the wires. Um, we dis discussed the case with the cardiovascular surgeon who refused to 
um, to remove the wires because he considered it a too invasive, big operation procedure. And therefore we placed a um, stand and we opt for an Hanaro stand in this case to avoid too much pressure on the aortic stand. And this worked very well and the patient was free of intervention for one year, uh, only complaining minor exercise-induced dyspnea. And after one year, the patient developed a leakage of the aortic stent, but this was unrelated to the, to the airway stay, stent. It was on a different uh, position. And uh, the patient underwent then cardiovascular sur surgery with removal of the wires. And we removed the stent as well. And this ha happened uh, two days ago, and we think there will be no further granulation tissue. So um, to conclude, metallic stents are easy to place and can, can provide an excellent palliation. Uh, however, we have to consider long-term complication. They are quite often. And Hanara stents have a low expansion force and soft edges and are beneficial in certain conditions. Thank you for your attention.